Whatever. You know what? Hit it. Q. Yeah. You know, if I do this right, I won't take any casualties. It just, there is a big fight coming up ahead, uh, just at the end, and I want to make sure I have actually enough people for it. I think we can get some more guys at the last point, but I'm not sure how many more. Hit it. Focus fire. Beautiful. Here. 400 health. 100. 2. Alright. Hit it. Hit it. Pull back. Now engage. Snipe. 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 Beautiful. And we'll go this way. We just have to make sure we engage the auto turrets well. And we'll be fine. We can't stun them. They're, they are mechanical. Um, toss out a grenade right there. Hit it. Hit it. Kill. Yes. Beautiful. And now we got those upgrades. So let's go this way. Uh, Meeks. You go on to the, the destination. Personally, I, I'll be concerned with ran the random giant animal bones. Because we haven't seen a single animal on this planet. Really, beyond the birds. Okay. Everyone back here. Hey. Group up. Oh, you, you, so you don't want that in now, huh? Huh? Uh, typical ass. Uh, uh, typical, you know, UEC. Only want to take on the lone guy. Uh, opportunistic gets incorporated. Ooh, they're in the right, the right mix, aren't they? If I stun, then throw out a grenade. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Basically, my t cooldowns enough time to come off. Okay, just tack. I was hoping the other thing would have come off cooldown, but no, of course not. Sounds like a plan. Of course not. Uh, hit it. Beautiful. Bit unneeded, but my God, was that therapeutic? Or deserved? I don't know. <sighs> Great, another big ball of them. Have to do the same. Okay, keep running. Stun. Attack. Snipe. Snipe. Beautiful. How much damage do you do? 22 versus armored. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's a fair chunk of damage. Huh. Are these UEC Marines? Uh, do you see, Mike? Even the critters got clipped. Critters. Those don't look like any critters I've seen. No. Well, they do, but... You know, it's just like... It's strange that they would just dismiss obvious Zerg as critters. You know? And uh, then again, maybe it fits with the wildlife they have in the place. You know, maybe they freaky looking shit. You know? Maybe it's just par for the course. So, yeah. Move. Throw. Attack. Kill. Beautiful. Ooh, shite. Oh, the rebels are f clearly gone. Actually, we, we weren't really running into much rebels here anyway, weren't, were we? It was just simply those the little caches that were left. Yeah, 
for some reason I, I told I was meant, you know, for some reason I completely misremembered the first half of this mission. Like, it, be it the Meeks part or the part as the group. Where I thought, for some reason, my mind was like, oh yeah, we were, we're solely fighting the rebels, then ran into the UEC halfway through. Where the fuck did that come from? My brain just shits itself, apparently. Apparently just, shit, it apparently just shits itself. Okay, keep fighting. Thank you. Ooh, Christ. We did bring a lot of firepower to this. Need to wait for some energy. Uh, Meeks is... Ugh. His right shell is... Of course, 50 energy, and he's only on 30. Take a moment. But... There's a lot of enemies up ahead, and so, well, at least I think there is. So I want to make sure I don't uh, run too low well on guys. So I guess I'm going to just have to wait the extra few moments. You know something I've been weird I've been hearing? There's a Powerpuff Girls reboot that, uh, lately. Just to talk about something while I'm waiting. Uh, I'll finish this point, then I'll continue. Uh, Powerpuff Girls reboot, and I've been hearing terrible things about it. Poor animation quality, um, just different things. People re just really didn't like it. And there are people showing gifts. I don't know if the gifts are real or not, but the stuff they look weird. Like the characters weren't moving. It was just looked like cardboard cutouts on you know roller skates moving forwards. They didn't look like people moving. You know, looked very weird. Um, and then another time, there's people standing by a gate, and they looked like cardboard cutouts. Um, but anyway, uh, apparently a writer self-inserted himself. Now, I suppose a self-insert could be dismissed if it's just a character in a background, you know? I'm, uh, you know, that's not too obnoxious. But uh, this self-insert is actually a crush of the main character. She's utterly smitten... Uh, of, uh, Blossom. She's apparently utterly smitten by the guy. And the guy, the character looks uh, uh, vaguely like the guy, you know, as much as the art's talking about how... So, his voice by the guy, and only appears in episodes he writes, and apparently has a name similar to the guy. Now, I have no idea if any of this is true. Again, with all the Powerpuff Girls things, I, I haven't really kept track of the new series. Oh, I used to love it as a kid, but I didn't watch anything of the new stuff. Um, if it's true, then it does, doesn't really sound that good now, does it? It sounds kind of terrible, really. Uh, hopefully it's not true, and hopefully it's just a load of bollocks been spread by people. Um, just as in, so far as that, well, it's not right that bollocks has been spread, but just that it's not true. The, t the t material is actually better than people are giving it credit for. Hopefully that's the case. I don't have much hope. I've seen some clips of it, and if they're real, they do look utterly terrible. <laughs> they do look atrocious. For some reason, Bubbles ends up dressed up like a prostitute at one stage. Uh, I get, or it's there to be a prostitute, and again, as much as the character design, the, the animation style will allow. She had like heavy makeup on and fish, fish, te f fish nets sitting on a car. Oh, very weird. Very, very weird. Um. So yeah, it just like I said, I haven't heard great things. What the? Ah, lost the guy. <sighs> Fuck it. Oh shit! Run, 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 run. Stun. Tag. Hit it. Beautiful. Okay. Oh shit. No, sir, it's a trap. Move in. Move in. Stun. Hit it. Hit it. Beautiful. Ow. Ah, we got a marauder out of it, and we seem to have lost the medic at some stage. So, ah, shit. So at least we got another medic out of it. And that's not nearly as bad as I thought it was. Maybe I was thinking that ambush there. What's the white dot? Is it the vehicle? Cargo truck. The, the, Montana, the Montana F200. 
dangerous ca cargo truck. It's Montana F200. Talk to me. It's now a power scrap. An energy cell. we better have Meeks take it. Oh, that's cool. That makes me think of some stuff I, I want to say that? that you can find in Warcraft 4. You just pop around the... Oh, sorry, Warcraft 3. <laughs> um, you pop a build and then you just suddenly get a... You know, an energy cell or something. Or some healing. Uh, some item, basically. Attack it. I misclicked. Ah, this is what I was thinking of. Yes. Hit it. Um, attack. Stun. Take it. Beautiful. That went well. Here's something we can keep saving in the next bit. Oh, freaking hell. It's completely torn apart. It's getting dark, Captain. It'll be night soon. Yeah, we got to move. Get in, get out, before the UEC arrives in force and traps us in. Meeks. Here. You and Masterson search as much as possible for survivors. I'll go to the bridge and destroy the Navcom. Survivors? Sir, we don't have time for... Just do it, Masterson. Everyone who was in combat suits probably survived the crash. We'll need them to survive the night and reach Arkenstein by morning. Now move. Go, go. Feels weird saying only two goes, not three, but, you yeah. That's just me for you. I, like, if I'm writing an essay, it has to be give three examples every time. It's just an obsessive thing. Probably, probably because of the tr three examples thing was, you know, drilled in to me in school, but there you go. Act 1, Mission 6, Clipped Wings Part 2 Pegasus has fallen. The sequel to Olympus has fallen. The Federation's mighty battlecruiser has crash-landed on the surface of Duras Tree after battling in orbit side by side with a Heimdall against the UEC invasion fleet, invading fleet. As the United Earth Coalition forces rushed to the crash site, their intentions were obvious and more threatening than what Harsh could have feared. Could have feared. Aboard the bridge of each battlecruiser exists a console of major importance, named the NAVCOM, a device which controls the ship's navigation through space and communication amongst the Federation's fleets. A device that, if hacked, could provide the UEC with all the information they desire about the specs of Federation warships, location of colonized planets, sp uh, space platforms, the, the space platforms defenses, and even the mineral trade routes. The, rep, uh, the Hell's rejects are now forced to deviate from their safer objective of reaching the security of Arkansas and instead enter the crumble battlecruiser to destroy the Navcom before it can be hacked to interfere with the Federation uh, to, inter uh, to infiltrate uh, infiltrate the Federation's otherwise secure, secured network. When moving through tight corridors, it is wise to have the tougher units ahead of the group. Good advice. That makes sense. But yeah, with the Powerpuff Girls thing, I hope it's not true, but I I have no real way of checking without just watching this series and being obsessed about taking down details, so. If it's not true, please let me know. If it is true, please let me know. <laughs> and I hope it isn't true. Just, it will be sad for the series, because it was a great one. Yes, run Retro Deck Corps. Come on, no time to waste. Sir, are we really going to do this? We're already doing a Masterson. Get as many people out of here as you can and find a way out. Um, get everyone to Arkenstein and... No way, no way we're leaving without you, sir. Don't argue my orders, soldier. Meeks, make sure he does what is needed. I'm going to the bridge... Uh, I'm going to the bridge... Just... That is missing word there. Destroy the Navcom before the bastards hack it. Go. Double time it. It's like two destroy the Navcom or whatever. The Psychic and the Sergeant. Moments later. We need to we need to be careful. The UEC has surely raided our armories by now. There are tons of nasty hardware aboard the Pegasus. Keep your eyes open for anything we can use. Is that a smiley face on his helmet? 
Uh, always. Like, it looks like an eye and, you know, a, like a smiley face, you know, like the cat face. Though it also makes me think of, you know, Elden and his uh, demon hunters a little. Just, maybe it's just the green, but, yeah. Try not to sneeze. Ugh. Federation Battlecruiser Pegasus. The United Earth Coalition has managed to bring down the Federation Battlecruiser Pegasus. The damage it took was severe, to the point of breaking in half upon crashing onto the force of Duar's tree. The crew casualties are undoubtedly massive, but anyone in armor suit is probable to have survived. Okay, let's see. Uh, oh! Okay, I think I know how to fix this. I know how to fix this. <sighs> okay. Maps. Uh, Odyssey. Probably thinking I'm not even bothering using the launcher, but. Actually, wait, I don't even know, need to go into maps. Just go bring up the. Uh, want, the like, I already have the launcher in the editor, so I just use that. So. Doing it this way is tedious as fuck, and it d completely makes irrelevant the uh, launcher to begin with. Well, the launcher. But, but uh, you know, the campaign tang and it automatically goes to the next mission completely does away with the point of that, but. <sighs> Sylvie. If I was playing on normal, I might be able to get away with not saving on mission, some missions, but I'm not doing that. I feel bad enough uh, dropping from brutal down to ha uh, hard, uh, but I wouldn't be able to. Uh, I wouldn't want to uh, drop even further, basically. I think the furthest I've gone was nine. I think I haven't done ten or, uh, um, on like. So once I reach there, it, I think it will be a completely new thing. So, this is still in the known content area, but, are uh, mostly known anyway. Uh, the last level didn't have anything new added into it, uh, from what I can uh, remember anyway. This might, but we won't know yet until we do it. I have no idea why that took so long. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. Same with any of the future ones. But once we get up to uh, mission 10, then it'll be completely new. Okay. I'm actually wild. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just play out again. Um, just to give you another chance of looking at it. Um, and I'm just gonna look up one tang. Starcraft. Starcraft Odyssey. Uh, uh not that. Um, there we go. Just booting up the, um, thingamajiggy. Just curious to see if there's any new ones out. Okay, mission 13 is done, but it's not released. So I'm just seeing if Anna changed in that regard. Files. No, it hasn't been released as of yet. Regrettable, but fair enough. Fair enough. So... Let's see if we can save. Yes. Beautiful. Out with it. Okay. Oh, brilliant. Uh, search every room for survivors. A harsh has charged Meek's masters in with finding survivors inside the Pegasus. Score every room you can access. The surviving crew members of Pegasus need help. Meek's masters in must survive to help them. The Pegasus has powerful equipment and gear. Um, 
powerful equipments and weapons to use against rebels. Make use of them against the UEC now. 